Hey guys, it's Mr. Pickles, and I gotta say thank you for subscribing to my channel. We just hit 100 subscribers, and it's really awesome. So let's get back into the video. Today, I'm gonna be building a Micro Mac. We're gonna first place the Gatling gun, and then a gravity reactor. Place the reactor right in the back. So in order to get this mech to be micro, we're gonna have to have, make really small legs. And the only way I found to do this is by using reverse rotors, which is difficult to get it right. We're gonna have to place a block here, another block here, place a rotor here, delete this block, and then delete this rotor head, place a rotor here, and then delete this block, and then delete rotor head. Now I can place a parachute hatch where I want it, which is right here. Okay, now I'm just gonna place some control panels for each rotor. Now I'm gonna be placing rotor parts on the parachute hatch, and then go into the control panel, go to rotor, and then attach. And I gotta make sure that the current angle is at least like 360 or zero, then I know it's correct. So I'm just gonna have to keep replacing these until I get the right angle I want. And then attach 360, so that's what I want. Okay, let's do it on the other side. Go to rotor two, and then attach, rotor two, and the current angle is zero, so perfect, did it right. Now I'm gonna place some gyroscopes, one here, and another one here. Okay, now let's just finish off the body with placing a control seat, like so. Now let's work on the legs. Okay, so I just finished the legs, so I'm just gonna go into the control seat and set up the legs so that they're able to walk. Also, I'm gonna set up the gyroscope so that they can override the mech and make it stay upright. Okay, I'm back. I got the legs set up so that now they can work and move. I also set up the gyroscope. Also, someone mentioned in the comment section in my last mech video, if you haven't checked that video, you should definitely check it out. But he mentioned that I don't actually need two overriding gyroscopes. I can just only use one and all I just need to do is just turn override controls on and that's it and I found out that that works just as well so I'm gonna be using that okay so just to finish up this mech I'm gonna add some armor plating to it just to kind of give it a little bit more detail I'm gonna be using heavy armor plates only just because this is such a small mech that I think it, that the heavy armor plating wouldn't hurt the extra weight to it and also just give it a little bit stronger armament Okay, perfect. I got the mech plated. Uh, I think the last thing I'm just gonna do is just give it a nice paint job. Okay, I finally finished the paint job. That took me quite some time, honestly, like just to kind of figure out something that I liked. I don't, I, I don't even know if I'm, if I even like this scheme, but I kind of went with like a, a nice khaki base coat, and then I kind of highlighted everything with a nice green color, and then made the weapon a gray, and I also made the bottom of the feet like a gray as well, like a dark gray. I mean, I. Uh, I think it still looks a little nice, but anyways, I'm gonna copy this and place it on a planet and then I'll show you how to drive it. Okay, I'm on a planet. I pasted the micro mech in, so let's hop right into it. Okay, all I have to do to start it is just like the other mech that I made, I just press one to move the left leg and then I hit two just to alternate the legs. So yeah, it can walk. It also can uh, shoot if you wanted to to shoot at things. I think this mech actually turned out really nicely for how small it is. I mean, it's not gonna move fast because it's small. Uh, maybe in a later video, I'll actually build a, a bigger mech that can actually move a decent speed. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel to see more pickle content. I'll see you in the next video.